Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I boxed out about three or four faces. Welcome to another Be Real TV smoke box. I'm here with my friend 40 of OVO Click. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Bless, sir. What's going on, man? Doing, you are a busy man, so I want to thank you for taking the time to, um, you know, sit here in the smoke box. No, come on. The pleasure is all mine. We got some jet fuel on some funky field tips we're going to spark up. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, I mean, you've got your, you, you've got a lot on your plate to say the least right now. Um, you know. You're working on views from the six with Drake. Yep. And you know, you're pretty much commuting back and forth from Toronto to uh, LA, yes? Yes, sir. How, how's the process going so far? Or is it still in the, the young stages? Well, it's always hard to answer such a question, but we're, uh, we're getting very, very close. And uh, the time will come, I think, when, when Drake's ready to pull the trigger, but for, for us, it's just a balance of finding that space to make such a project that's based around our city. And then also be coming out here to the West Coast to sort of, you know, escape some of the harsh winter and find a good creative oh, space. Oh yes, so because Toronto is definitely... It has to be a balance of like both those locations though for what it's supposed to be, you know, like for the type of album we're making. So. Right. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm a fan of, of uh, your works. You guys, you guys put out banging music together. I gotta say that there's like a chemistry. Thank you, sir. You know I appreciate I mean? that very much. It's it's very polished and very dope. I, I'm a fan of it. You know what I'm saying? So that means a lot. I could tell you that many many a nights on tour. You know what I'm saying? We'd be bumping y'all shit <laughs> thoroughly. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know what 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 got you into the production? Like what who were you? Who were uh, like your bigger influences? That got you involved in making beats. That DJ first, Premier probably was DJ like Premier. Shout out to Premier. Yeah, it was really what made me originally start having a passion for like, yo, how do you do it? What what do you do? You know, it was a different time back then, right? So for me, that was like I don't know, 95, 96 is when I started trying to think about like, yeah. how do they make these beats? What what's an MPC? What are these things? You know, I'm just I'm plugging keyboards and VCRs and you know making. Uh, just all the electronic and, shit yeah. you know anything that I could do to make music somehow right so it was just starting that process and falling in love with rap music especially in like from 94 to 96 was like when it took over my life really. you know, it was a good time for rap to take over your life I feel like for sure there was a lot of great music coming out and there was a lot of good producers but definitely you know, Premier was at the top, one of the top at the chain. You know, there was your, there was Dr. Dre, there was Premier, there's Pete Rock, and you know RZA, and, and then a host of others. You know that motherfuckers. Of course, and this is like that that generation especially is what yeah. influenced me, I think, the most. But ultimately, like everything, when you move forward into like say Tim's era and all of these guys having their run, of course yeah. they all influenced me as well. But yeah, uh, those guys. Made it was bangers. Premiere that made me want to make beats. You know, yeah. it was like it was like Wrath of the Math and Group yeah. Home that like musically yeah. took me to another space where it was like he was using these samples that had melody and music in them that were like captivating on another yeah. level as well right for sure layers for yeah sure. 100%. but you know what's dope about your shit is that you don't hear none of that influence it's like totally your own sound yeah well, it's bizarre like the music i draw to for influence doesn't end up sounding like the music that i make but which I is like that, an interesting thing I, I you know i think that's great though yeah you know well, i try I mean? to put myself in a place that's like bizarre i guess you know like I'll just like only listen to like the Smiths or something when I'm right. making a record. It's like something I, totally just, different than motherfuckers would exactly think. very left field. I'm not listening to what's hitting the radio or what people are dropping, and I'm trying to like almost stay away from that stuff to focus on something different. You something know? different, yeah. Now I know you're a big basketball fan. You're you're a Raptors fan, right? Yes, sir. How, you know, I know Kobe dropped 81 on you guys one time. Yeah, but how, how do you happened. feel? How do you feel about like his retirement right now? Like, I mean, because that's the talk, you know, his retirement. Yeah, I mean, it's a crazy thing. I think it's a, it's a good time for him to, to step up. Just a, you know? Yeah, you think he's, he's had his run? I think he's had his run. I mean, yeah, everybody I, knows he's had his run. Yeah, I no, think one's, his, no one's I, questioning. You, you know, I'm a Lakers is, fan, so. die hard. You know, <laughs> I, I, I was there when he did this this feat. And he is definitely not in the same place that, that 
he could be effective. But I'll tell you what, the Raptors, you know, right now are on a on a on a, a, a good fucking you know a good run right now. Like we have good energy. You got good energy. We right have really now, good sure. energy, and and the city is like. The city is like such a great place for that team for basketball. Right and now. you guys it's are awesome behind to the shit, shit too, behind the push, like you know, getting this 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 new Toronto Raptors feeling vibe. You guys are actually helping well, promote that. hundred percent. No? I mean, it's a big machine, so we're involved in it, and yeah. it's amazing to be a part of something like that. You know, of course, no question. But but yeah, just the attention around and the fans and the support is like it's pretty cool. And like you know, I mean, they'll tell you that themselves. Yeah. Like, what it's like to play in that city so it's a good basketball city right now yeah hell yeah and you got and this. canadian basketball is exciting right now yeah. there's a lot of new canadian talent coming up that we've never seen the likes of before so and i think that's only going to get better in the years to come so. yeah i think so too there's a lot of talent out there man i mean in every aspect but that's you know you never know that unless you go there or unless somebody breaks out of, you know from out of there you know you uh, we've had plenty of you know canadian um entertainers artists whatever athletes come mm -hmm. over and like wreck shop down here man you know what i mean so it's just a matter of of being exposed to it i guess you know what i mean so like you know maybe somebody drafts one of the, the hardcore basketball players out of canada onto the team and then he makes a splash you know what i'm there saying there you go we'll that's something like that something like that yeah let's go have this and, that, and that's how it should be how, how do you feel about the the cannabis movement out there you feel like it's it's steadily progressing well, we're at a better path now because Justin Trudeau just got elected as prime minister. So Trudeau is a much, obviously, liberal. Yeah, he's more open. Conservative. We've had a conservative government for the last eight years. Yeah. So it feels like, from my perspective, things have gone backwards. It's a scarier place for, for marijuana over the last eight years really? than it has been in the past. And it was a crazy thing because to watch California and America so progressive, so progressively, like, change yeah. laws and the attitudes towards marijuana and so on and so forth and then up in Canada it's been like ooh, laws are tightening up you're gonna do some time right now like things are looking crazy and so anyway our government changed and he's like pretty proactive at the he's moment like, fuck it let's do it yeah huh? he's like I'm gonna do it we're gonna talk to the provinces we're gonna figure it out so he's younger right yeah he's younger he's much more liberal and progressive That's but it's like you know it's about time we all know what it is so. we all know I mean it's it, exciting and it, it's good but the boom hasn't happened the green rush is happening there like it's starting it's, and it's people are starting. getting into it and the dispensaries are opening and things are starting to like because proactively change but yeah it, it hasn't like hit like it's hit out it's here, going you know? to though I think because I mean th there's a lot of open minds in Canada I think of course and well it's Especially for weed, right? It's crazy for me to be like, man, how do we get? I thought we were like, I thought we were winning this race, you know? Like, hey, for so long. California you know? thought we were win winning the race, and then <laughs> fucking Denver came and snatched the <laughs> no, fucking they did taste the victory it. out of our fucking mouths, <laughs> they bro. They did. That's, That's crazy. so crazy. Shout That's out funny. to you motherfuckers in Denver <laughs> and Seattle. For real. And, real. You know, it, it, it's great to see that it's spreading around the world because now it's in Spain, it's in Uruguay, mm -hmm. and Chile, and fucking all these different places. It's it's popping up because people are are, are seeing the effect of it yeah, and revenue they, real revenue they're seeing you know? yes they're seeing the economic value 100%. of this product and you don't you 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 smoke obviously for you know relaxation or whatever uh, um you use it for both right casual use yes. and medicating 100%. right so i have multiple sclerosis so like ms is one of like the number one like uses of medicinal marijuana right. is, is MS. It's like very high on the list of like why you would be prescribed to use it. So without question, it has its benefits regarding my MS, but like, you know, I'm not naive to the fact that I've been smoking marijuana since I was 10 years since old. Since before so you even knew like, that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, been a, it's been a long run for me. You've been medicating like, yeah, like yeah, without knowing forever. Uh, for a very, very long time, yes. So. I mean, that's my own reality, but it, it has unbelievable benefits. And th what happens is the MS drugs are really powerful. So when you take them, like, they knock you up. They take right. you down. Yeah, and you don't want to take that well, shit. Well, what they do is they prescribe you with 10 other drugs to be like, okay, take this to fix your appetite because that's just going to fuck up your appetite. Take yeah. this to go to bed because you're not going to be able to go to sleep. Take this to relax. You're not going to be able to relax. And I'm just like, uh, I smoke for all of this. So it's like that whole list of 10 drugs they push on you after, you can push that all aside and smoke. So that's where it's real benefit comes into play. Right. Like for me, my personal usage. You know? Right, right. And that makes sense. Because, I mean, a lot of people don't want to be, you know, having to take that many fucking pills a day for anything. But, they, you know, that's the reality of it. If you can fucking simplify it and this takes care of all those needs, then psh, why not, right? But I don't drink. So it's like I'm not a drinker. You know, my, my vice in life is smoking marijuana. And it's my... 
it, I'm a, I'm, I talk a lot, so this brings me down a little bit. You know, not mm-hmm. as, yeah, yeah, it brings me to a little bit more of a manageable place than. Uh, I think you got to give this to high-strung people. <laughs> like if you if you got a homie that just talks too fucking much and he can't stop, you say, boom, here, have some of this, yeah, Jesse. Smoking, you don't relax just start bit. smoking, then you'll see him go fall asleep. Yeah, that's me. Corner. As long as I'm smoking, I'm cool, you know? Hey, what are some of the, the top strains out in Canada right now that, you, that, that, that are like the talk? Well, there's only like one strain that I care for in Canada. And like, I'm very picky. Like, obviously, I've been smoking for You're a long time. You're a connoisseur, time. yes. And, uh... In Canada, it's called it's called Bull Rider. Bull Rider, and it's by a guy named Jeff Tech, who's a very like a very notorious and sort of legendary character in, in marijuana culture in, in Canada. I gotta remember that. And uh, yeah, you can look him up online and so on. Um, but Bull Rider is a very very special strain. It's very very clean. It's very medicinal, and it was developed for a lady um, who was actually having issues with cancer and was convinced that this was you know going to be a very powerful tool to help her solve her problems. Um, and RIP, uh, she passed away, but uh, the strain is like, is based on medicinal usage and cleanliness, you know, it's all soil based and the way it's grown is like unmistakable and you know where it comes from because the flower is just so perfect. Right. And it's, it's just, it's, it's a special, special oh, thing. Right. There's nothing else like it. So here's the thing, it's not an OG and I don't really want to smoke anything other than OG. That's it. Like I don't, I'm not really interested in other types of weed, even if they're really, really, really good. Like I get it, I like it, I can appreciate it, I understand it, and I like to taste it. But like if I'm smoking a bag, like yeah, I need my OG. Need you the know? OG, yeah. And and Bull Rider is the only weed in the world that I feel like uh, I have a bag That's of Bull like Rider right and there. a bag of like really good OG. I think everybody I, needs I, a choice I, I'm like gonna that. Balance between the two of them, yeah. you know. But any other weed. The OG's gone first, that's it. You know, see, that's that's always been, you know, my, my get down, you know, always OG before everything. And then, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try other flavors. And if I like them, I'll fuck with them. But always it's the OG because there's no, there's no big bang like a, like OG. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's like out the here, head, it's the head bang. It's an yeah. indica, so it's it's gonna knock you. you and know out here, mean? it's Jeff Fuel. And that's it. So it's Jeff Fuel OG out here in LA, and it's Bull Rider in, in Canada. And well, those, see, he answered that question. Those those two those are the two that I, I can I can put those two on the same level and appreciate them the same way. And I can't say that about any other strain in the world. Like that's it. Yeah, the Jeff Fuel. Really and I do feel that LA has by far the best weed. On, or California has the best weed on the planet, no question. North to south, I um, have to agree with you on like, this. You know, with, without a doubt. You know what's funny, right? Is that we've said this this type of thing in, in, in the smoke box through many an interview, like who's got the best weed, blah, 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 blah. And people in California, well, not people in California, but most people will say, even, you know, people from out of state, um, they'll be like, yes, Cal- you know, California's got the best weed. And then we'll, you know, we'll look at some of the comments in the fucking chat room and whatnot, right? <laughs> but what about Canada? What about Amsterdam? What, you know, and you get that and this and that. And I'll say this, I'll say this for sure. You know, there is definitely great flower in Canada. For sure. For sure. 100%. Hands down. I cannot. And the culture's been there for a long time, as you are well aware, right? Hey, listen, way back in the 90s, uh, we had this guy named Sam I Am. Can't remember what city exactly he was in. It's amazing. I think he might have been in Toronto, but this dude. He looked like Ronnie James Dio. I don't know if you know who Ronnie James Dio is. I do not know who that is. Okay, if you look him up, he used to be a singer in Black Sabbath and he had a solo career. (laughs) Tremendous voice in the fucking metal deal, right? But this guy looked like Ronnie James Dio, right? He was in the movie The Pick of Destiny. He's like the picture that comes alive. I don't know if you've seen it. Anyway, this dude looked like that and he comes up to us you know, and he goes, hey man, I got a gift for Cypress Hill. And you know, he breaks out this fucking tasty bag of fucking green, man. It was the lightest, it's like avocado green, yep, like yep, just yep. popping some shit we've never seen, yep. not even in LA at that time. Cause in LA at that time, there wasn't that that much good weed available. You had to know mm-hmm. somebody who knew somebody, you know what I mean? But here we are in Canada, this dude just brings us an ounce of the stickiest, green weed ever right and right then and there i knew i was like i love this place i'll fucking come back and come back 
<laughs> until they don't let me come back. Yeah, there's lots and lots of green there. That's that's easy. <laughs> and this was time. this was back in '92. Mm -hmm. This was back in '92. So, like you said, the culture has been there for like 25 years, yes. over 25 no years. Like since before that. we've been coming, like you know, a good 40 40 years, I mm -hmm. think, 30 40 years. So, I think the cultivation game down there is pretty tight. And I think that and like the shows and the outdoor and everything like yeah. there's been a lot of, of, of weed there for a long time and different types and so on. But especially in BC, right? BC was like it's like our California. Yeah. Of course, there's lots going on in the East Coast and in Quebec yeah. and Montreal and right. around that area. But and that was Ontario, where the, all the weed pretty much. British Columbia was British just. British Columbia. It is. It was what it was. It was like BC bud, right? It was like it was that was BC. like a thing, right? It was like some good weed if it came from BC, you know. And they do. They still have good weed out there, but it's not. It's not LA. It's, it's not, not LA. I can't find like getting really good OG up there is difficult. It's out there, but you gotta know the guy. Okay, but then it's also the game too because the weed comes down here because our dollar is so low. The dollar here is so much about more valuable, yeah. right? Just like our, it's 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 really bad yeah, right now. So it, it all comes down here. Why are they gonna yeah. send it all the way to us in Toronto for? You know, it's a long way away. True that. So it's just, it, 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 can, it can get tough out there. It's not LA, I'll tell you that much. But, you know, not yet. We definitely have our, our good trees. And we have some nice outdoors and some things that are native. That it's are not LA yet, but listen, Denver so, caught up with us, boom, just like that. So, you know. What happens is gonna happen. I think it's gonna be great too. I think y'all are gonna be celebrating in the streets like y'all won the World Cup or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Word up, man. I wanna thank you for taking the time to oh, chop up in the know, smoke box. Because you already answered what's your favorite strain, and that was, you know, the oh, the, um, the, the bull rider and the jet fuel OG, as you all well know, is the special shit. Mm -hmm. You know, so because that's always the last question, but we like oh, we continued on because it was an interesting conversation <laughs> about you know Canadian, you know, the the get down in yeah, the, the in culture, the, the culture a, of marijuana. It's gonna come back up. I know? think so we'll too. Have a good year, I think. I believe so. Because mm -hmm. you guys got a lot of talent over there. It's just getting the cuttings and then, exactly. you know, the right formula for those particular ones. But that's another story to be told, man. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. Fuck with my man, 40. He puts out bangers and hits and all that shit. Views from the six coming. Coming soon. Word up, man. Peace. Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I boxed out about three or four faces.